Hey, I'm Jamie from Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in the new game, in Age Contrived. This is a game that I kickstarted fairly recently, and I guess for full disclosure, this is uh, partially created by a project manager that I used to work with at Panda. I now work with Shannon at Panda. That's our manufacturer at, at Stillmeyer Games. Um, and Age Contrived has a couple elements that I thought were really, really clever. One is a component thing that I wanted to note, and that is when I was punching out this game, it has a bunch of punch board tiles. Some are shaped like, like this, although these are fairly unique, and, and some are quite different. As you're punching them out, though, you might notice that they're sticking together, and that's because these have magnets in them. So you can notice I can put that together. I am not holding that bottom tile. It is stuck there by a magnet. There, you can, you can kind of see it there. I'm holding one of the tiles. So these magnetized tiles are uh, for these monuments that you're building during the game, and they snap together in a really satisfying way as you're building them thanks to these magnets. I thought, and it really, for, I was particularly impressed by these because you can't tell from looking at them. They, they look like normal cardboard tiles. The magnets are embedded really well in here so that you can't see them. And I just, I like magnets in games. It feels very satisfying to have things snap together. I've seen it used in Merchants of the Dark Road for a, uh, a rondelle, a dial. Uh, instead of having like a, a, a little spoke that you have to put through the board and the, and the dial, there was a magnet that kept it attached to the board. That was really clever, um, but it was really neat to see it in, in a punch board as well here in, in Age Contrived. The mechanism that I wanted to highlight in, in Age Contrived is kind of the core mechanism of the game. One of the main things you're doing is you have tiles that look like this with tokens inside of them, inside of the holes like this, and you're sliding them across a mat that looks like this. Um, you're sliding them over, and uh, and uh, on sometimes you're sliding them. Sometimes you're just activating them by pulling the the in this case the purple tokens off of them. But there was an element to the sliding that I thought was really clever, and that is you can throughout the game you can upgrade these sections, these five sections of your player mat, with little tiles that have icons on them. Uh, like there's a little foot icon representing movement, and if at times some of these tiles these types of tiles, they have icons like that, like a foot in the middle of them. And when you do a slide turn, an advanced turn, I think it's called, when you slide them over, if you align a tile that has the foot in the middle with a bonus tile up top that also has a foot in the middle, when they align, you gain both of those bonuses. Otherwise, you gain neither of the bonuses, neither of them matter. But if they ever align, and when they do align, and they will if you have, if you have these upgraded tiles, um, and you've bought the correct tiles to, to align with them, uh, you get both of those benefits. So if I have a, a one move icon and say like two move icons up here, when I slide that tile open on that advanced turn, which is usually a, a slightly weaker turn of the game, you get this really powerful benefit where you get to move twice. There are several other benefits like that. So I like that it added this uh, the sense of progression and sliding and movement in what's otherwise a weaker turn of the game and made it really powerful, feel really good to have that those things line up. And sometimes even you can have more than one line up depending on how you've chosen to uh, put these tokens up here, the bonus tokens, and how you've chosen to slide new tiles into this row. I thought that was a really clever, just a little mechanism that was very satisfying in the game. I'm always looking for ways in games where if you have a, a weaker turn that you need to take every now and then, like an income turn, a refresh turn, an upkeep turn, to add ways to make that feel more powerful. And this was definitely a way to do that in an age contrived. That's my favorite mechanism in this game. I'd love to hear your thoughts once you've played it. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks.